Hello guys. I'm going to start out by saying there's a lot of false teachings that a lot of even Christians are falling into. One is that you can manifest things that is straight from Satan himself. You cannot manifest anything. The only goodness that comes is through Jesus Christ our Lord. Plain and simple. I tell you this now because in my desperation in May, I had started paying attention to numbers. And in that, I was being led down the wrong road. Although I knew Jesus Christ was who he said he was in our word, in our Bible, I was still paying attention to numbers. I felt like God was reaching out to me through angels. Now this is another lie. That you should know the name of your guardian angel and you should talk to angels. Jesus is the one that tells the angels what to do. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because I had started even though I profess to be a Christian, I had started using sage. I had started even tingling a bell to try to get rid of evil spirits. Evil spirits are nothing but demons. There are no ghosts in your home. There's no such thing. If you're being tormented, it's by demons. Now, I lead up to this in telling you that I was going down the wrong road. I was being fooled, as many of you are. I had started smoking marijuana, even had... I even had a card that made it legal. I had a vision and I was not asleep. My vision was, before this COVID really got very rampant, and this is how it went. I had my phone. I just knew I was gonna be rich and famous. I went outside and there were clouds everywhere. Now, this is physically happening to me. This is not a dream while I'm asleep. In the sky, I was seeing faces, demon faces, growling looking faces, mean faces, monstrous faces. I went inside and at that time I had a boyfriend living out of wedlock. I went inside and I had even thrown away my debit card, my EBT card. I just knew it was going to happen. After that, I kept seeing the faces, the demon faces. I saw them in pictures. I saw them on TV. Now, not in the TV show, but outside the screen on the TV. Everywhere I looked, I seen a demon face in my home. When I went outside, I seen demon faces in my home. What seemed like days was probably more like hours. I was so worn out, I decided to lay down in my recliner and rest. My boyfriend laying in front of me actually to the right of me. In that moment, I went into some sort of dazed meditation state. I don't know what you would call it. I saw my own death. I didn't actually see my head being shot, but I felt the numbness and the blood. 
And the reason I know it had to be hours is because I had two candles lit. When I woke up from this state, he was still asleep, but the candles were no longer burning. They were gone. The candles had burnt down to nothing. But in that time, I was being tortured by demons. I am a sexual abuse survivor. I was being tortured as if I was being abused again, but it was being done by demons. One of the demons was even the person that abused me. When I woke up from this meditative state, I'm going to call it a dream state because I wasn't fully asleep. I was still being tortured and I was wide awake. I was still seeing demon faces. And I just knew the man beside me to whom was my boyfriend was the one that was going to kill me. Now in this, I got up from the couch. I went into the kitchen. Now my dream was always to be an actress. Whatever it was, was telling me everything to do at every moment. It would tell me when my ex-boyfriend was going to be in the room and when to leave and when not to. At one point, I even went outside to get away from him because I knew that he was going to kill me. When I was sitting outside, I've written a book. The book that I've written is called Forgiveness Not Permission. I saw the cover of my book, which I designed, on a house in the window, catty cornered for me when I was sitting outside. When I looked around, and mind you, I told you I'm a sexual abuse survivor. When I looked around, I saw people and children I'd never seen before. And I remember asking God, who are all these people? It was told to me that this is the way people, pedophiles to be exact want your world to be. Children as playgrounds. Making them feel like they are being treated lovely. Fooled into thinking they're being treated well. But people are going to use them as playgrounds and do whatever they want to them. That's what was told to me. I remember thinking, I have no hope. I sat in front of my car and I cried, scared to death, my heart beating, beating out of my chest. At one point, my ex-boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend, boyfriend then, came to me and said, are you going to come inside? And I said, no, I just knew he was going to kill me. I'm still seeing people that I know and then some that are total strangers and kids that are total strangers walking around and knowing in my mind that this is the way that several adults and millions of adults, I would say, want our world to be children as playgrounds to do whatever they want to them no matter what that is. I finally went inside, nighttime at this point, had words with my then boyfriend. I remember apologizing to him and going ahead and laying down and thinking it was over, whatever was going on with this vision. When I lay down, 
I thought it was over and then my heart just automatically started beating fast and I felt heat. I knew that the demons were back. When I looked up, everything that I looked at was something hideous. Either a demon face or something I was going to be tortured with. At one point I even saw I even saw a nightlight that I had turn into a male part. At that point, I, I felt like that was my warning to run out of the house. Now, I was laying with my head on my boyfriend's chest. I got up and I ran. I had no shoes on and just a t-shirt. I was even being told that I was, I was in a military experiment, that I was a time traveler. Yeah. What seems crazy was a vision of what I believe God's trying to warn us of. At that point, I went to the closest, safest place I could go to, and that was a Huck store. I pretended to be out of my mind, even though I was scared to death. I, I pretended to be out of my mind so they would take me away and put me somewhere where I'd be safe. And I was. I was taken to a hospital to the psych ward. They thought I was crazy. They thought I was hallucinating. I had nothing in my system. They did a blood test. Nothing in my system to cause any kind of hallucinations. Here's what I believe. We are not going to see a reprieve from this COVID-19 virus. Nothing is going to help us. At some point in time, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, now, you'll see these demons yourself. They are going to run rampant. They are not going to hide themselves anymore. The veil is going to be lifted from your eyes, and you're going to see exactly what is in the spiritual world around you. I believe that was the warning that I was supposed to tell and I think now is the time I tell it. Now is the time I don't hang on to it for fear of people thinking I'm crazy and that I did hallucinate because I know I didn't. If you are dabbling in the horoscope or if you are consulting a psychic, if you think you're okay, by dealing with angels, you're not. That's the lie from hell itself. And you will get it back exactly what you're serving now. And the utter and total hell that you're going to have is no hope. When people disappear and you don't know where they went, it's not extraterrestrials. It's those people that have been saved and truly accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior, gone. Never to come back because they're free and they're happy with their Lord and Savior and King. The one and only Jesus Christ. Don't think that by serving an angel or, or that by consulting an angel that you're doing right because that's what I thought. I was told and shown way different. The devil himself was an angel. Remember that. The Bible says Satan is here to steal, kill, and destroy. 
And that is what he is trying to do. He hates us because we were made in Jesus's God's image. God loves us. And that's why he's sending so many people dreams and visions. He's trying to draw us into him to save us, us from the heartache that's coming. The vision I had, I, I never want to go through anything even similar to that again because it was the worst thing I've ever been through. I honestly thought I was going to die. And there's much more to it that I can't even remember. I know it's there, but I can't remember it. It was that detrimental. It was that scary that evidently my brain has blocked some of it. Do not chance your soul being eaten, basically, by these demons that are going to run rampant. You're actually going to see them. I'm going to end this with prayer. And it's not for show, it's prayer for you. Dear Lord, Father in heaven, I pray right now that whoever comes in contact with this video, please, Jesus, accept you as their Savior. Don't let them be fooled by the lies of Satan himself. Reveal to them the truth. Remove the veil from their eyes so that they can see the truth in the lies that are being told. Save as many people as you can through this video, Lord Jesus. Completely take over this video and save some souls. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.